We are set to go. Round four of My Bike Motorcycle Insurance. Australian Superbike Championship presented by Motul. Here we go with the Australian Superbike Championship at Hidden Valley. Race one was a cracker. What has race two got? Wow, was Maxwell creeping on the start then? Or did he just absolutely nail that start like yesterday? Yeah, Ollie Bailer's got a great start, so did Troy Herfoss, but no surprise to see Arthur Cece's come through from uh, his grid position to oh, take up the running. I think they are. That's it's Herfoss. Herfoss. Herfoss is down. Looks like a massive crash there. The air force has been dislodged. I reckon we'll see a red flag here. And the Honda rider yesterday's winner is down. And this will have big championship repercussions. Red flag flies. Troy Herfoss, thanks for joining the Osmodo show. It's the first time we've been able to really sit down and, and catch up with you since the accident in Darwin. Firstly, how are you? I'm okay, yeah, I'm, I'm here, I look normal now. <laughs> I feel like a normal person, but um, it's still pretty slow going. Like, um, yeah, it's just a slow process that I've never been through before. And, um, you know, at first it was quite frustrating and, and now I'm sort of coming to terms with the fact that, you know, I'm not gonna be normal for a, a little while yet. So it's just about listening to the, the surgeon rather than trying to push on on my own. Are you able to take yourself back to the weekend in Darwin? Have you thought about it? Have you watched Vision? Have, have you spoken about it with your family or anything? Yeah, I, it took a few days um, like before I wanted to see it and then my parents were there as well. So it was like pretty traumatising, I guess, in the first few days. Yeah, you know, it was definitely hard for, like I think my dad especially. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why, but um, like he's always been the sort of guy that, you know, don't wrap yourself in a cotton wool bud, but um, having mum and dad sort of struggling a bit to come to terms with it so mm -hmm. but yeah now I really want to start racing again and I just want to feel that adrenaline rush of riding a bike so yeah. How difficult was it for you being away in Darwin? I know your dad was there but your wife Emily, your young, young daughter were away from you. How tough were those first couple of days? Yeah it was really tough. I think even going into, into the hospital I was asking to speak to Emily or wanting to speak to Emily and Mia. Like it, yeah it's all all pretty fresh in my mind still so but um yeah Emily and Mia flew to Darwin straight away because at first we weren't sure if I was going to be there for you know months I was able to get out of Darwin after seven days and and then we moved into Emily's parents house for I think seven weeks we were there and I was under full-time care as a, of a from a nurse really mm -hmm. so it, like literally she was <laughs> you know dressing me <laughs> you know take me to the bathroom put me in the shower so yeah it's been pretty tough on Emily having Two, two babies essentially but um, now, now we're sort of ahead of that and, and then there was the bit of a setback with my uh, the neck of femur didn't heal and the screws actually broke um, once we started to load, load it again and so I've essentially had to start from square one with my, my neck of femur um, but now it's been put back together really well and, and I'm, I'm now nearly two weeks in and what I thought was just normal back then was obviously the bone separating and mm -hmm. pushing around and was really painful Whereas now I don't have any of that feeling and I'm getting a lot of movement back quickly and I've got one more cool scar to look at. <laughs> <laughs> Are you able to describe the exact injuries you had or, or the surgeries that you have undergone? Yeah, I, as far as I know, like a, a very basic <laughs> way of putting it, I guess. I, I broke my, I had the same injury as Mark Marquez. I, I broke my uh, humerus really high, close to my um, shoulder and that was a compound fracture so it, so it broke sort of diagonally all the way through and the bone pushed out under my armpit and there was some tissue damage to my shoulder. There was 10 screws and a plate in there and I, so I can sort of feel that now because my arms faded away so much. Mm -hmm. So that's all really strong and essentially I could start my recovery process straight away. I, I actually broke a couple of toes which was <laughs> the day before the same as how Mike did. The first just, lap of the just race. To top it off. Yeah, the first lap of the race I stubbed my toe on the camera that Mike actually did. Mine was nothing like Mike's, but yeah, I had a, I had a small crack in my toes. I had a couple of broken ribs. Um, and then the major one was my neck of femur. But it is a major setback and, and probably changed my mindset from, you know, can I maybe ride my motorbike at the end of the year to, okay, let's just focus on next year. So in your mind, you were gonna get back on the bike this year? Yeah. If there was a possibility. Yeah, 100%. I wanted to ride the bike again, especially if we're going 
to do a few races at the end of the year and they're back to back, I can just ride around and, and try and finish the championship. Um, I don't know, like it's, yeah, we're all the same, I think. But. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've had to have this, this second surgery that, you know, right, racing in terms of this year is probably gone, but we'll see Troy Herfoss in 2022, like that's in, that's in the yeah. future. Yeah, I, like honestly, I hope to roll out at the first test, you know, having, been, have been, having made a full recovery and, and ready to take on the championship as normal. I'm sure there's plenty of fans out there that are absolutely <laughs> going to be cheering to, to hear those words. Was there a point at all where you thought, I might not be able to, not because of you didn't want to, but maybe you couldn't. Look, even even now I, I have my moments where I get frustrated and like it doesn't feel like my arm's like getting better, but it is. Like when I go to the surgeon and we do, we, we check the movement on everything and the physio checks me and like it's clear that it's getting better. Um, it's just taking a long time. And then I watch every weekend Mark Marquez riding around. Like he, <laughs> he obviously went back way too early. Mm -hmm. And then he had other altercations where he had a bone infection, I think, and, or some kind of infection. So that his process got put back a long way because of that. But like, I can see he's struggling on, on TV mm -hmm. sometimes and that, that, oh, that makes me wonder, you know, is it gonna be a long way until I get back to my normal self or will I get back to my normal self? But um, yeah, I think, it's, I think it's definitely possible I can. And the last few years have been my best years and this year I've never ridden a motorbike so fast. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I can't see why I'm, I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. So, especially now there's a few younger guys coming up <laughs> and Wayne's going to retire. Like, um, yep. yeah, I want to I wanna enjoy that and, and be pushed for a few more years yet. Really appreciate your time and we hope that you can get back on the bike in, in racing before this year's out.